Hello, welcome to Eagle Eye Open Art People Outreach. I am Pata Hosanna David. In this video, I want to talk about the preparation of the Antichrist so far. How far has preparation gone for the revelation of the Antichrist? The revelation of the Antichrist is not going to be like a volcanic eruption. The systems of this world had to be prepared. So we are in the process of transition. Everything has to be prepared for his revelation so that his, his disclosure, his appearance and introduction to the world will not be something that will be a shock. Foundations had to be laid. And this is exactly what the Lord revealed to me. How far about the preparation, preparation of the systems that the Antichrist is going to operate on has gone. This message was given to me on the 10th of September 2022. If you have not subscribed, please do where to subscribe. And those of you who are sharing our videos, we really appreciate it. Continue to share our videos, like and comment. And also, if you have not given your life to Christ, we want to use this opportunity to call you to salvation. Please do well to give your life to Christ. And if you are saved, but you are having one area or the other you need to work on, please continue to work at the salvation with fear and trembling. In a vision, I saw an excavator digging through a muddy ground. The Holy Spirit said to me, where we are now is a time preparation is being made for the reign of the Antichrist. This excavator is preparing his way. I am revealing this to you because I want you to tell my people to get ready. There is no more time. Again, I was shown the snout of a pig in a muddy place. The Holy Spirit said to me, the snout is the mouth of the pig. I saw just the mouth, the snout of the pig. This the Holy Spirit said to me, This is the Spirit that has come to prepare the way of the one that opposes all that is called good. Step up your understanding and understand what you have seen. He shall come with light, but not for humans to see, but he shall, like a pig that digs up worms, introduce many demonic spirits into the realm mankind dwells he shall direct them that means direct the demonic spirits to their different places of assignments with his lights he shall work with the spirits of sexual immorality he shall enter into many that means with the help of the spirit of sexual immorality and mold their hearts to accept the man of iniquity he the Holy Spirit was referring to the excavator as he. He is already here. He is at work already in the children of disobedience. Then in another vision, I saw a very dark aging ore that was poured on the ground from an engine. After using an engine for a very long time, for instance, a generator, the oil inside becomes very, very dark. This is exactly what I saw. It was poured from an engine. It was very dirty and dark. Then the Holy Spirit said to me, This is how useless many humans have become in my sight. They have been held bound by the spirit that leads men into the way of all deceivableness. I speak that men may repent and be saved. Look, he said to me. Then I looked and I saw lowered clouds white clouds that were very low to the ground he said look when the holy spirit said that i looked and i saw it was like the clouds were very very they, they came down they were very very low very close to the ground and the clouds were all white this is the message the lord gave to me after i saw the clouds Behold, my mercy has been released in abundance for as many that are ready to be purified. The clouds you see represents God's mercy. 
He has determined to save as many that repents. Then the Holy Spirit said to me, Now listen, the nations that oppress other nations shall be crushed by the power that is at work. They are the leaders, that means leaders of the world. Therefore, they are facing the heat of the one that is preparing everything he can for the revelation of their king. Let me explain this. There is a crackdown of power among strong nations in the world today. In the revelation God gave to me about the rise of Adolf Hitler and the subsequent one that actually explained how power is moving from the hands of some nations and is moving to the hands of a few globalists. In that revelation, I understood very clearly that transition is taking place. The nations of the world that are very, very strong, like America, is being crushed. Their power is being taken away. And it's not going to the government of another country in form of either colonization or new colonization. No, not like that. But it's going to the hand of a few people, into the hands of corporations. That is the truth. So the strong nations are being hindered, are being crushed to weaken them. Because for the devil to take over the world, he must take over these nations first. Let's continue with the revelation. Dark clouds have gathered round the strong nations of the world to hold them in captivity. Look, those who are wise understand the times. It is the season of transition. Transition from the reign of men to the one that shall be revealed. Africa shall be safe for a time until she shall be faced by the one that weakens the nations. Concerning the enemy's plans to use food to enslave mankind, this is what the Lord told me. I know there are um, some revelations God has given to me about how Satan wants to use food to enslave humanity, especially GMO. Then this is what he said to me about food and the agenda of the globalists. Time is already running out. Let those who want to remain pure consider changing their environment except they have access to clean food. Those who plant the enslavement of man through food are already hatching their evil plans. Tell my people to resist. Their resistance will not stop the evil people, but it will delay the agenda and also losing the grip of their rule. Please be mindful of what you eat. Make arrangements for your food. Thank you for watching this video. The essence of this video, of these messages from God, is actually to open our eyes. It is for the salvation of our souls, so that we can be watchful, so that we can know the times that we are living in, and align ourselves with God's own plans. If in case you have not given your life to Christ, please do well to give your life to Christ. Because the days are evil. The days are short. Jesus is going to come like a thief in the night. The devil is preparing. Let us also get ourselves ready for the flight. And please do well to subscribe to this channel, Igula Yopuna. Thank you and God bless you. Don't forget to share this video. God bless you. See you in the next video.